what's going on guys? Welcome back to Clash Rack. So today, I want to talk about the new lightning spell in detail. The new lightning spell is taking the game by storm. And that's right, we're kicking this video off with a strong pun. And just for that reason, and no other reason at all, why don't you go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of these awesome puns. Alright, guys, let's go dive into it. Talk about the exact radius of the new lightning spell so you know exactly where to put it to hit as many buildings as possible. And also when you should split them up and different combinations of lightning and earthquake that you can use to destroy the different buildings. The main building that we're trying to destroy is the clan castle. If we can destroy the clan castle, then the CC troops that are inside of it will die with the clan castle. Okay, so the combinations that can destroy the clan castle are normally seven level eight lightning spells or seven lightning spells of your equivalent town hall level and an earthquake. And it has to be a max earthquake for some of the lower town levels. And I talked about in those specific videos, but for town 11, we have max level earthquakes that we can create ourselves. So not a big deal. Okay, so seven lightnings and one earthquake destroy the CC. That combination also deals enough damage to destroy the Eagle artillery, but it's a little bit overkill on some of these smaller targets. So maybe I want to destroy the Eagle artillery, the sweeper, the clan castle, and the wizard tower, right? Well, the Earthquake has a big enough radius that it can destroy all of those. But we have to understand the exact radius of the, the Lightning to make sure that we can hit all of those as well. And we're actually going to have to split up the Lightning and cast it in different spots here to get that to happen. So let's look at the radius of the Lightning spell. Here it is. So the Lightning spell has a 5x5 five five square with the corners cut off. And that's going to be centered around that red spot in the middle where you actually cast it. So always... Count the tiles out from where you want to cast it and find out if you're going to hit your targets. Now heroes have a very small hitbox, so I would always make sure that you cast it almost directly on top of heroes. I would uh, minus one tile to make sure that it actually hits them because I don't know why. I've had uh, heroes on the second tile out from the center and they don't get hit. So be very, very careful with that and just go conservative with them and make sure they're within one tile of the center. Just uh, This burned me and it burned me in a video just recently and uh, we talked about it a little bit there. But guys... From there, using that information, how do we actually destroy all of these? So the earthquake would obviously hit all four of these buildings and all four of these buildings are perfect targets to destroy for setting up a Lalo attack. But the sweeper has a lot less health. The sweeper only needs the earthquake and two lightning spells to be destroyed. The wizard tower has a lot more health. It needs three lightnings and the earthquake. These two need all seven and the earthquake. So if I cast a lightning and I cast it right in between these two on the wait if I put it on this wall right here or on this tile right here then it would miss the uh the sweeper it looks like it's two tiles away but the corners are cut off so you either have to cast it on this tile or on this tile right so same thing on the other side here I could actually could put it on the wall section in between all of them and it would easily hit all of them that one's very very easy to see but you got to know the exact radius of the lighting spell so you know what to hit so if I cast two right here or right here, then it'll hit all of those targets. Then I cast three over here, then I can put the remaining ones wherever I want. It doesn't really matter as long as they hit the CC and they hit the Eagle Artillery. And the Earthquake has to hit all of them, otherwise I gotta shift it around a little bit and maybe get more lightnings in one spot to make up for that, right? Okay. So different combinations of lightning and Earthquake are seven level eight lightnings and one Earthquake. That'll destroy the CC and it'll destroy the Eagle Artillery. But if the Eagle Artillery is not one of my targets, then I'm actually going to use a different combination. If I get two Lightning Spells donated to me, and I bring only four of my own for a total of six, and then take that the next level Earthquake, then I can destroy any building on the base here other than the Eagle Artillery or the Town Hall. So if my target next to the CC is not the Eagle Artillery, then I want to actually substitute out the donated troops or the donated spell I mean for two lightning spells and then I free up one extra spell that I can use to bring extra haste or an extra freeze or whatever I want right and that's actually really valuable because you're very very limited on the number of spells that you get after you set up this attack here and uh, that's actually gonna lead me to my next point here there's actually another combination where you can use it with a quad quake and the first attack that we're gonna look at that was from the live stream we're actually going to look at a quad quake variation where we take in four quakes and we take in five lightnings. That's enough to destroy both of these, but that one 
That one doesn't put you close enough to the Eagle Artillery uh, hit or health total to substitute out the Lightning Spells for higher level ones. You do have to go with five regardless of the Lightning Spell and you have the Quad Quake there to be able to destroy the CC and the Eagle Artillery. Okay, so let's go cut over the Life Feed and we'll see a lot of these attacks in detail and I'll show you, I'll show you specifically what it looks like when you actually zap out the Eagle Artillery and the CC and you have the donated ones instead and it doesn't actually destroy this, the Eagle Artillery. So guys, let's go dive into it. So we got the P.E.K.K.A. Smash with the Zaps. This going to go open up the base. Okay, then we're going with a Green walk to go up on the base here. Baby dragon over there. Driver up. And then we'll go in with a uh, king and a P.E.K.K.A up here. We'll put the king on that side, put the P.E.K.K.A's on the town hall. We'll go for a super wall break right there. And then we'll add in more P.E.K.K.A's and bowlers. And we'll drive in here with the warden down. And we have the stone slammer to go with this a little bit later on here. But let's go in here and let's uh, tear this base apart. We got another super wall breaker. Let's uh, pop that king. Get our rage down as we go into the core of the base here. Now, we never have to deal with the CC because it's already destroyed. We'll pop a warden. And then we will... Oh, I have freezes. I meant to have extra rages. But you know what? We'll use that. We'll send in the stone slammer. And we'll have the stone slammer work along that edge there. Maybe I'm dropping a couple balloons here to go help out. And um, healers again targeted over there. You know, we're going to freeze that to protect the healers. Yeah, we definitely need the healers to go on to the P.E.K.K.A.s there. That's uh, potentially causing some problems there. But we'll see how far we can make it through here. Throw some whizzes down. Can I uh, actually break those P.E.K.K.A.s out over there? That'd be cool. We got another freeze. Let's freeze up this multi and save the P.E.K.K.A.s over there. Oh, I should have froze up the air defense, actually. Throw some whizzes down. All right, just coasting, just coasting. Got some healers that have transferred over to the P.E.K.K.A.s and they're staying alive. Dragon out of my CC. Now, I probably would have had hogs normally. I just uh, have dragons for whatever reason right now. I don't know why. Throw in, um, is it right there? And I think this is a triple, right? We got a queen ability, 55 seconds. This is our new attack, guys. This is the new attack, the Zap Quake P.E.K.K.A. Smash, and smashes pretty well. It just keeps on moving. You don't need a lot of spell support for P.E.K.K.A., so being able to take out the CC, open up the base there, and uh, get some other important targets like taking out the heroes. I took out the Queen with the Zap. Did I have an Air Warden on that too? I might have. I probably had an Air Warden on that. That's probably true. Now I have a Ground Warden. Did I switch him? I think I did. How am I going to zap? Okay, I'll show you. Let's switch the warden to air. Let's wait for this queen to circle around and let's zap her out. Actually, you know what I should have done there? Yeah, see, I can do it with one less spell right there. So now I just got to go break the ring of defenses. So we'll go in right after the... Eagle artillery, or I guess we don't need to go after the eagle. We can just kind of go in in general and uh, see if I can get as far into there as possible. I got the super wall breaker here, so we'll open it up and see if I get the queen to step in there. I don't think she'll step all the way in. If I had two, then I maybe could get her to go to the eagle, but she can't reach it. But she might wrap around and go to it, depending on what's still standing. I'm going to hold up on this king ability for as long as possible and see if I can get her to turn. I don't think she will. She's going to go to ability soon, and she's going to go to the outside. That's fine. That's fine. Because we can send my stone slammer over to the eagle. So we can go, let me save that king. The uh, stone slammer in a second. Let's send in more balloons over here. The warden there. And then the eagle now. So those other buildings should be down before the stone slammer arrives. Let's actually haste him to make sure they get through there. The stone slammer to go to the eagle. There it goes, finally. All right, so we got another hound. We can freeze up the multi inferno. More balloons from the flank. And clean up down. And we'll get ready for a warden. Oh, let's freeze that again. 
Get a couple of haste. Let's get a haste here. And let's uh, ward when we go to the other multi inferno, alright? Yeah. Okay. And we'll haste here. Do we need to free something? Let's be patient on the freeze there. We're fine. Yeah, we got... This is crushed. This is crushed. Look how many blooms we got left over, huh? Is that uh, Arch Tower locks onto the... Oh, Sam, we'll drop in a bunch of minions here. There we go. We freeze it. We'll freeze it right here. Easy day. Yeah, so this attack is crazy powerful. Zap Lalo, probably one of the strongest attacks in the game right now at every single Town Hall level. If they put any kind of value around their, their CC, then you can grab it right there. And this one's especially powerful because it only takes six lightnings total because I get the level nine ones donated to me. And at Town Hall uh, 11, it's just enough damage to take out the CC. So this one, we can get the Eagle, we can get the Queen, the Sweeper, and we can get the CC. We got to put it right on the wall, right over the wall here. Let's wait for the Queen. Now the heroes have a really, really small hitbox. So you got to make sure that you uh, get it a little bit closer to the heroes than other things. Now, this is the downside of using the lesser zap or the, the donated zaps instead of the other zaps is it's not enough damage to take out the Eagle Artillery, but it is enough damage to take out the CC. So in this case, we would want to go with the with the seven zaps instead, and we'd use the donated freezes or something like that, right? So we'll go in here anyways, and so we'll see if we can get it done. Go with a uh, Baby Dragon over in the corner. We'll go with Super Wall Break. We'll see if we can get in here and take out this Inferno, and we'll see how much we can get. Let's throw another Baby Dragon on the other side, and uh, we'll be able to get some decent value here. We won't get the eagle, but maybe we can do it without getting the eagle. If I can get the queen to step over and take out that warden statue, that finishes breaking the ring of defenses, and that's the main thing we're looking for here. So I'll start the Lalo. I'll pop that queen. The Lalo. Okay, send the stone summer from this corner. A little Tesla's popping. Get a haste here. And a haste here. So I freeze up that eagle and the sweeper, or the, what do you call it? Eagle and the inferno together. We'll pop a warden as soon as they come out of it. Oh, that was uh, probably a waste of a warden. That's all right. <laughs> we'll, we got some more blooms here. Let's throw them down, down here. And let's get a freeze in his air defense. Get a haste here. And zoom these guys along. Got a couple left. So let's go after the expo on the backside. One more freeze. Yeah, it's still a triple either way. We got a troll Tesla in the corner. Eh, let's see if I can take it down. Do you think six minions versus a Tesla? Can they take it down in time? <laughs> yeah, they can. Yeah, they can. All right, they'll go straight to clean up there. We got another triple on the ha on our hands there with a little bit of uh, delay while we talked, but too easy. This is your base, Nanka? I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you think there'll be a Coliseum base skin? Oh, that would be so sick. I would love that. <laughs> we'll open up that stone slammer. Drop that dragon out. Now, the dragon could be used to kill the queen in... Uh, if the base was... Uh, if you don't kill the queen with the zap, then you either need your heroes to take out the queen or you need that dragon to take out the queen if the pups aren't getting her. Anyway, we crushed it. Too easy. Where do we have to put the zaps here? We can't really hit the air defense. The air defense and the CC are too far apart from each other, or are they? Can I hit the air defenses and... No, I can't. I have to choose between the air defense or the CC or the Inferno. I'm going to take the Inferno, though. Yeah, I can't get the air defense there. But you know what? We can grab it with... Woo! Big old Tesla farm there. Let's drop a couple blooms in there, help him out. Let's get the queen down. Let's get a baby dragon in the town hall. See if we can uh, work our way into there. Maybe those baby, baby dragons will split up there. That'd be nice. Popping king ability. Or really went to auto ability. <laughs> Big old Tesla farm right there. Throwing me off a little bit. 
Let's start this Lalo. I want the air defense to go down first, though. But we can start some balloons. Okay. We'll uh, freeze up multi. And we'll haste here. And we got to get that queen down. The hound here. We got the dragon that can uh, take out that queen. Freeze up that eagle. Haste into here. And we got the... Oh, pop that queen. Where's my warden? That uh, warden. Got a haste here. Freeze all this. Oh, I missed the eagle. That's alright. It's crushed. And clean up down. Yeah, the dragon took out the queen. That's what we were aiming that dragon at. We put the stone slammer so that the queen would lock onto the stone slammer and then she would pop it. So we're going to end on the expos this time. I'm going to go through the other side first. Last time I tried to go through the expos first and it didn't quite work on me. Let's up with the queen and the CC. We'll click all that. All those buildings down to half health. And now the downside is we leave up the sweeper here. But let's go with the heroes. Work our way in here. We'll throw down the baby dragon. We'll um, let the heroes work their way in there. And as soon as we get the archer towers. we got to break the ring of defense. So I just got to get the archer tower down mainly. And we can start to work our way in. So awesome not having to deal with this queen in the CC. <laughs> Makes these so much simpler. I start with the hammer. It's going that way. That's fine. Glamour over here. Let it work its way in. Pop that queen. Put that warden down, huh? That'd probably be helpful. Get a haste here. We'll freeze that. For warden. Right now. He's here. He's here. Freeze the sweeper in the inferno. Again. Oh, that's probably a little bit early on that freeze. Probably should have waited for things to circle around there. All right. And we still get through. I'm just trying to work its way over there, but we're kind of veering off here. That's a tough spot to move through. That's a really tough base, dude. I like this base. Let's wait till this uh, slammer gets into position here, and maybe we can get some Teslas or some uh, minions down here to help out. All right, there we go. Slammer, do the tanking there. Get that arch tower down. All right, we're in. Is this a triple? There's the Tesla. Oh, there's a whole bunch of traps going up there, huh? But none of them hit the dragon. That's pretty OP. Here comes the rest of the troops there. Get into the inferno. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> All right. We'll take out We Conch. We Conch. All right. So, we, oh, we got a CC all the way up in the top corner here. Hmm. Ah, huh. well, that's complicated. All right, so we're gonna have to do something a little bit differently here. We're gonna go one, two, three. Go one, two, three. Break it out. Okay, that gets rid of all the cannons. Almost, almost got them all. Get a baby dragon there. Go with the king here. Get the queen here. And let's see if we can get them to go in. We'll throw a baby dragon up here. And we will wall break them in. Right. No, that's not where the wall break. Oh, wait. It's going to open up the wall around the corner. That works. That works. It dies and it uh, doesn't have to be on the right wall when it dies. It just needs to go in there. So we're just going to try to dive in there and grab that queen. Can you step up, please. Take her down. Ooh, almost died through my ability. That was kind of close. A little bit dangerous. All right, so let's go with the Lalo on this side.
all around, get that worn down. Freeze up the Inferno. We'll haste in. And let's uh, freeze up this air defense in this uh, sweeper. Get a haste in here, get these troops moving along. Another hound coming in here. A couple uh, balloons to come in and pops in. The minions down. Freeze up the backside Inferno. Haste into it. Ready for a warden. Now. That should be a triple. Easy day. You don't need that many spells for a Lalo. It's crazy what you can do with just a couple spells. But you don't have to deal with a CC and you get to the Queen easy. But by separating out the lightnings there, I was able to get the damage on a whole bunch of different buildings around there. I took out four defenses with my spells with just lightnings. Make it look so easy. It is easy. It's not that hard. You just got to practice some Lalo, you know? If you can do a halfway decent Lalo, then you can make this attack really easy on any base almost. All right, so in conclusion, we have two different variations of this attack here. One where we use seven zaps and an earthquake, and that is the minimum required to take down the Eagle Artillery if you're using level eight lightning. So to take out the CC, you can use either seven level eight lightning in an earthquake, or you can sacrifice three of these level eight lightnings and get two level nines donated to you, and then you free up one spell slot to be able to bring extra haste, extra freeze. Maybe you can sacrifice one or two of those to bring a heal spell. Whatever you want to do. There's a lot of different possibilities. But that's what we're going to wrap it up for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed those attacks. And if you guys don't want to miss out on those live streams, then go down to the description of this video. Click on the link for uh, Twitch and for Trovo. And drop a follow there. We're trying to get up to 500 followers on Trovo. It's our new streaming platform. And we're really, really pushing hard for it. So if you guys want to pop over there, create an account, and follow me on Trovo, that would be huge. But guys... Don't forget to use code ERIC, suck less, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.